Hello and welcome to another Igloo Imaging tutorial. This one is on hidden shape options and while I was doing the last tutorial on objects on a path, I discovered some little buttons and options I had not seen before. So I got quite excited because, you know, it is exciting. Um, and I'm going to talk them through you. Basically, follow along with me. 1920 by 1080 is the art port and we're just going to draw some shapes. If you've not drawn shapes before, look at your toolbar. You might be able to see a rectangle, shortcut M. If you click and hold, you'll see the rounded rectangle, ellipse, polygon, star, and flare, which we're not using. So I've just drawn a circle, right? Nice and simple. So you go up to here, click and hold, rounded, uh, sorry, ellipse tool, shortcuts L, just click, hold, shift, and you'll get a circle, okay? Now, once the circle's drawn and selected, so press V and just select it, what can we do? We can go to the corner, we can rotate, obviously not be able to see the difference. We can make it bigger or smaller, squash it, that kind of thing. But if you click this little dot here, you'll see like a mini Pac-Man appear. If you click and drag, nom, nom, nom. So, and you can actually take it the other way, which is great for doing pie charts or whatever. So that's the circle. If we move on to the rounded rectangle tool, again, just click and select it. I've known about this one for a while. You can just get the corners, move them in and out. That's that's always been nice to do. Um, you can, if you pull the corner in and then use the up and down cursors, can you see the little sort of quarter circle under the cursor? If I press the up and down cursors, it changes it to bevels, different types of bevels. So you've got one, you've got the rounded one, a sort of inverted round, and then a flat cap could be useful. On to the polygon. In the old days, you know, five years ago, you'd select the polygon tool, you'd drag, and then you had this really unfunny game where you press the up and down cursors to try and get what you wanted. Normally, you would have had the option to just double click on it or hit return, and you could have manually put in how many sides you wanted. Don't know why it didn't exist, but it didn't. So now, when you've got it selected, you can round the corners off. You can do the bevel thing, like I showed you on the last one. You can also use this little diamond here, up and down, sides. Start with a triangle, four, five, six, seven, and it does it in nice little steps, all the way up to 11 by the looks of it. So that is very handy. I can't see any other little things I've missed onto the star tool so I've just drawn a little star here now there's a few more we've got the round round the corners off I know about that one this one as well round the outside ones off that looks nice um we've also got the now the drawing the points out from the center which we didn't have before and again the points up and down because before, like the polygon tool, when you drew a star, you'd play this fun game of trying to hit the cursor really gently just to get one or two more points, and it was almost impossible. And then you'd have to hold shift, uh, no, option, or command, there you go, pull command in and out, and it was just a bit clunky. So now they've made it much better. Adobe, I really like this one. The triangle, I only put the triangle in there because actually it's a polygon. But if you go all the way down, it does you an equilateral triangle. So, hidden shape options. If you knew about them, well done you. If you didn't, I think these are really good. Thanks, Adobe. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you again next time.